Um, SC Linux is what is known as a mandatory access control system, and its job is to limit what applications have access to what resources on a system, as well as what users have access to what resources on a system. SC Linux can be used to lock down files, ports, services, and a lots of other stuff. More often than not, when you're working with SC Linux, you'll be trying to figure out why something isn't working rather than trying to actually lock people out. That's mostly because SC Linux can be very restrictive if it's not properly configured. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's very easy to misconfigure SC Linux. And also, if you don't know what you're doing, it's very hard to troubleshoot what exactly is going on because there's multiple layers. SC Linux is basically a security layer on top of your already running services. So if you have SC Linux running, you first have to validate that your services are actually running. If you were troubleshooting a service, you then have to validate that you have the right file permissions for the service to work. And then you have to go into SE Linux and verify you have the right SE Linux permissions. So there's another layer on top of your system that makes it more difficult to troubleshoot. Many Linux admins complain about SE Linux. Having read through this chapter, I see why.